How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a quick special request tutorial for KV Kingdom and he's asking how to use the HUD maker to try to get a clickable icon in battle to pass clicks to a variable. So when you click the variable it adds to the variable and this has been a long running conversation and I wanted to jump in. So here's a special request KV. Um, he's having a hard time figuring it out. I did do this on stream but I understand it's like a two hour stream so I'm putting it together in a quick little tutorial for KV. So here you go KV. What he's trying to figure out is how to make uh, something pop up like in the here I have a pacify system and you see we can have these little things um, you know these, these icons popping up and if you click them it should do something you see when I click on it it adds to a variable here and the variable is represented by the pacified state here so um, he's trying to, to make this work so when you click on it it actually adds the number uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick KB so get your um, HUD, HUD maker pro open and You'll have an icon, you, you give it a name, you can have whatever display conditions you want. I have a variable for the display conditions, but we're not actually changing that uh, during this click. Uh, position, all that's up to you. Picture, you know, all that. You don't need any animation, rotation, hue. You can add that to your own desire. But um, what you're going to do to make it work so when the, the player clicks on it, it actually adds to a variable. You're going to go down to add-ons and you're going to do on click. And then when you when you do the on click, you're going to go to instead of on click, you're going to use code and you're going to use some simple code, create a temporary variable, say variable X equals, and you're going to reference the variable that you want to um, store into there. So we're going to change variable number 32 in my case. In your case, it may be differently. It may be different. So just put whatever you want, uh, whatever variable you want right there. And then you're going to add to it. You can say X plus plus if you're just adding one. If you want to add multiple, you can say X equals X plus however many you want to add to it. And then I'm doing switches. You don't need to mess with this. This is for my game. But to simply add to the variable, you're going to store it into a temporary, increase that temporary, and then use game variables dot set value. And you're going to select that variable number that you picked up here and then set it to the temporary that you just increased. And that's it. This other stuff is for my game. So really all you're going to be doing is this line and this line and then this line. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, like, favorite, share, subscribe. See you next time, KV. Bye-bye.